So I thought I would feature another watch in a Things That Spark Joy video. So I've just gone into my watch collection. This is the only Swatch I own. I'll have to look up the model number and I'll include that in the title of the video. This was a gift from my wife uh, for one of my birthdays. Very nice watch. You can see it's got the nice, this nice blue silicon strap on here and it's, it's very shiny around the, the whole area here you can see it's incredibly reflective but the uh, I can stop it actually reflecting the camera there it has a really nice color on the uh, on the dial there and the hands really sort of complement it. And then if you flip it over, it's got an exposed back. I try not to <laughs> freak everybody out with the uh, detritus. Yeah, it's just a, a lovely watch. I don't know if these are available still. I took a long time choosing a swatch actually. There were several different models I look at looked at. I did have a look at the automatics, this is obviously a quartz. And then when I finally did decide to get one, um, this is the one that I asked for. I don't actually know if the uh, there is still a swatch store. I think there was one in Covent Garden in the UK. So I'm sure next time I find myself in the UK, I'll have to see if it's still there. But certainly uh, the other place these always crop up, and you do see some interesting examples. Is uh, when you're in the departure lounge at a major airport and over the years I've I've seen quite a few interesting ones that I've never really seen again and I think with these you always have a certain amount of regret that you didn't buy it at the time you saw it because then that particular model seems to disappear but I'm glad that I uh, decided to uh, have this one as a gift. Thanks once again for watching, bye for now and I'll catch you in the next video.